YouTube, what is going on? This is Jay, man. Hey, look, I'm back at you with another video. This is going to be an installation video, finally, on the Easy Lip Pro. Uh, temperatures around my place, man, haven't been right. The instructions say 72 degrees. It, it Let at least be 72 degrees before installation done. And uh, I'm one of them people, man, I, I want to try to do it the way it's supposed to be done. With that being said, there's a couple products people... Are having problems with and i'm gonna do a video about it it's uh it's basically because they're not doing what the people say do man if you follow simple instructions and do it the way they're telling you do it man you shouldn't have any too many issues for real but like i said it is hot enough outside today to put this on so we're gonna do the installation video on this and the way i'm gonna do that is i'm gonna probably do most of it in time lapse and then on certain parts i'll slow it down and tell you what's going on tell you what i'm doing and uh We'll get into it but hey before we get into it i did want to say thanks for all the subscribers that came through and subscribed to the channel man it means a lot and for if this is your first time coming through go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below you won't be disappointed turn that notification bell on and give this video a big thumbs up uh you know i give car content man dodge chargers specifically kind of and then shoe content too and uh i do have another set of shoes coming in that i'm gonna show it's an older pair but it's uh well deserved for a video but uh hey we're gonna go ahead and get into it i'm gonna flip the camera around like i said if it's the first time you come through hit the subscribe button down below you won't be disappointed see y'all in a few all right i'm on the outside of the car the way we're gonna do this is it was actually supposed to come with a couple alcohol pads or something to clean the underneath with or i thought it was anyways but it didn't so with that being said i'm gonna use some armor all wipes on it and then come back behind it and wipe all the uh, residue off and then of course I got a couple pairs of scissors man just because it looks like it's kind of tough and I, and I don't want no jagged edges or anything I want it to be clean lines as I cut it off evenly uh, but like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get under here and I'm gonna clean this underneath off and then we'll get on the opposite side right here and start over there I'm gonna start flush with it and we're gonna come on around and then uh, Y'all hang in there, man. Stick with me. See what you think. Hopefully, you'll see something you need to know. I'm gonna show you the underneath right here. I'll show you what I'm kind of cleaning. I don't know how good it is you can see it on the camera, but basically, you just want to come under here and clean this lip. That's where it's gonna be at, depending on where your placement's gonna be. Now I still got the little uh, screws under here from where my, uh, you know, they had the yellow pieces on yellow little front bumper guards. Wait, see the dirt right here. You want to get all that stuff out before you put that strip on there. You don't want that adhesive to touch none of that. And then make sure you get that residue off. I think I got pretty much everything I'm gonna get from up under there. Uh, give me just a second, I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna look at a couple more line placements that somebody else has got out and uh, we'll get back at it. All right, I got it stretched out. Uh, it's supposed to be like eight foot if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, but uh, I was just gonna show you with the Easy Lip Pro, you got the line right here. It's kind of like a guideline that you can kind of go with for everything's kind of even, man. Uh, it's all up to you on where this thing's gonna go. So you gotta 
you kind of got to make that judgment call yourself, you know, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to start going with it. We'll see what it looks like and uh, see how it turns out. I got it on there all the way around. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of uh, the, the grass is dead and stuff. Just trying to get in the adhesive part of it, the glue part. So just be careful with that if you're not doing it on concrete, which we ain't got no concrete out here. I live in the middle of the woods, man. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is just a little tip for you. Once you get it all the way around, make sure you come back and check your first side to check the angle right there to make sure your angles are gonna kind of match up. It's probably not gonna be perfect because I didn't, I don't know, I, I don't think I've went far enough right here. I probably should have came back this way just a little bit more, but hey, it's all right. If I had to, I could always trim it on the other side to match it. So just make sure you check that. But like I said, just make sure you check that and it could help you in the long run as far as the appearance goes on it, which it's on opposite sides. It's not going to be that noticeable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut mine flush and then I'll give you a look of everything we put on just now. So y'all hang tight. All right, I got it all the way wrapped around now. I got both sides cut off. So this is the finished product. It really doesn't take that long. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little winded afterwards. But overall, in my opinion, it looks pretty good. I don't really like how uh, this part right here is not really sticking that good. I might have to go get a hair dryer just to try to heat it up for that adhesive to stick a little bit better. If you can see it, it's coming down just a little bit. Not really doing it on that side. So, 
overall, I think it turned out pretty good, man. Let me know what y'all think of the overall appearance of it. All right, guys. That's a wrap on the Easy Lip Pro, man. Uh, I know it probably wasn't the best installation video, but it kind of still gave you little tips here and there of how to do it and uh, what you need to look for. Uh, it shows you how easy it is to do. I've never put one on. That's the first one I ever messed with. And to be the first one, I think it turned out okay, in my opinion, you know. Uh, there was a couple things I could have done different, but you got to live to learn, you know what I mean? You don't you don't figure it all out the first time. Uh, even with that not being a good installation video, it kind of still shows you what it's going to look like on your charger if you try to put it on one. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. But hey, like I said, if this is the first time you came through, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And even if this isn't the first time, man, y'all support me. Hit that subscribe button down below, and I promise you there'll be more good content to come. Uh, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm still out of breath a little bit from it. I got to get back in shape. Uh, but, hey, until next time, man, y'all keep it real. Y'all stay easy. I'm going to see you real soon. Peace.